Welcome back to the Git and GitHub series. If you watched the previous video, then hopefully you now have a good idea about Git branches. Before we move on to Git rebase, I wanted to do this video about pull requests. In this video, you are going to learn what pull requests are, how to create a pull request, how to merge a pull request, what the development workflow looks like in a team of software developers, and lastly, some common mistakes that you might be making while working with branches and pull requests. So let's begin. Here's a quick recap on branches. To create a branch and switch to that branch, you use the command git checkout minus p and your branch's name. To simply create a branch without switching into it, you use the command git branch branch name. To switch to an existing branch, you use the commands git checkout branch name or git switch branch name. To merge a branch into another, you first check out into the branch that you want the changes to be merged into and then use the command git merge and the name of the branch that will be merged into the current branch that you are in. Sometimes while merging, you might come across merge conflicts that are denoted by markers that look like this. To resolve these conflicts, all you have to do is remove these markers and select the change that you want to be there in the final merge commit. Once you have picked the changes, you can add these changes and continue with the git merge using git merge dash dash continue. This will finally create a merge commit inside of your current branch. You can use the git merge command to merge two branches locally. However, you use pull requests to merge two branches on GitHub. Let's see how it works. You first need to create a new branch and create some commits inside of it locally. So go back to your project's repository and cd into it in the terminal. Now create a new branch. Let's call this new branch Urvashi Dev or whatever your name is. Now inside of this new branch, I'm going to change some code and create a new commit. Now instead of merging this branch locally in main, I will push this Urvashi Dev branch to GitHub. So to push a branch, the command that is used is git push origin and the name of your branch. So this will push the specified branch to the origin that is GitHub in this case. Open your repositories view inside of GitHub and you'll be able to see this drop down. You can switch between branches in GitHub using this drop down. So I'm going to select the branch that I just pushed and here I can see the commit that I've just created locally. Now let's create a pull request. To do that, Navigate to the pull requests tab. Here you will be able to see a button that says new pull request. Click on this button. Now in this view, you have two drop downs. The right drop down lets you select the branch that you want to merge into the left branch. So if I select main in the left drop down and if I select Urvashi Dev in the right drop down, this will behave as if I'm in the main branch right now and I am running the command git merge Urvashi Dev. So this will merge the commits from Urvashi Dev into main. Once you're done, click on create pull request. Note that creating this pull request won't automatically merge the two branches. Pull requests add an extra step and extra layer of protection between merging two branches. In simple words, a pull request is a request created by you to the other team members for merging the changes from your branch into the main branch. Now in this pull request, you will be able to see the exact commits that were added into this new branch. And you'll also be able to see the exact files changed and the exact changes made using this tab. So after creating a pull request, usually what happens is that you will either request a code review from somebody in the team or anyone from the team can look at the code and review it by using the code review feature here. So while you're doing a code review, you have three options. You can either approve the pull request to be merged into main or you can leave some comments or suggestions on the code or you can explicitly request changes to be made before the pull request is actually merged. To approve a pull request, all you have to do is click on this button that says review changes and then hit on approve. You can optionally leave a comment with your approval. So in this case, since you are the only person who's working in this repository right now, you are the only one who's creating the pull request and you are the one who's also approving the pull request. 
in real world, the person who creates the pull request is not the one who reviews the same pull request. Someone else needs to review this pull request. Once it is approved, you can scroll to the bottom and merge this branch or merge this pull request into main. So now successfully, you've merged your branch into the main branch. However, sometimes it might be possible that someone from the team pushed some changes into the main branch and these changes can be conflicting changes with the changes that you've made in your pull request. So in this case, you will be able to see this option here that indicates that your branch has some conflicts with the main branch and you need to resolve them before you can merge this pull request. If you're following along with this tutorial as you should, you can simulate this merge conflict by creating some conflicting changes locally inside of your main and pushing the changes directly to main and you will be able to see this merge conflict inside of your pull request here. Notice that this process of merging branches, merging pull requests and resolving merge conflict is a little bit different than we discussed previously where the merge conflict happened when you were merging the branches using git merge. In this workflow, you first merge the latest changes from your main branch into your development branch and after resolving conflicts, you merge your development branch into the main branch. So to be able to resolve these conflicts, you have two options. You can either resolve these conflicts inside of GitHub or you can resolve these conflicts locally. To do that locally, what you need to do is switch to your development branch. So for me, it is git switch Urvashi dev. And then I'm going to pull the latest changes from origin mate. So since Origin's main branch had some conflicts with my Urvashi dev branch, the pull is going to fail here. I'll resolve these conflicts. Continue with the merge. And after resolving these conflicts, I will push the latest commits to Origin's Urvashi dev. So even after creating the pull request, whatever changes you push to GitHub, these will automatically be reflected inside of your pull request as well. Another option to resolve these conflicts is to do that within GitHub itself. So GitHub has this editor view. To resolve the conflicts, you need to remove the markers and select the change that you want and then click on this button over here. So GitHub will automatically create the merge commit for you. Now that your merge conflicts are resolved, you will be able to merge your pull request into main without any conflicts. However, sometimes the conflicts might be too complicated to solve them inside of GitHub. So it's better to resolve your conflicts locally and before pushing, check that everything is working as before after creating the merge. Now you have successfully created your first pull request and merged your first pull request as well. To summarize, this is how the developer workflow might look like. You first create a new branch from the main branch. You work on your feature or bug fix inside of this branch. Then you push all the commits and this branch to GitHub and create a pull request. Someone from the team reviews your pull request. Once your pull request is approved, you merge it after resolving conflicts, if any. However, if you are the only person who is working within the project, it does not make sense for you to use this workflow of creating pull requests. You can directly merge your branches using git merge instead. Now let's cover some common mistakes that you might be making as a beginner. While creating branches, always be aware of your base commit and where you branching this new branch from. For example, if you are on the main branch and here if you create a new branch, your new branch will be based on the main branch. If you are on the new branch and then you create another branch, this another branch will now based off of your new branch instead. Second, in a team, you don't usually work on the main branch. You always work on private branches and create pull requests to merge your private branches into the main branch. Your main branch holds the latest working state of your project and it acts as the main source of truth. Everyone merges their completed features or bug fixes into this main branch and work on their private branches that you can sync with the main branch using git pull and git fetch commands. Once you're done with the merge, make sure that you're deleting your old branches. You can do that from the pull request itself. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see this option to delete your branch. You can also delete your branches locally by using this command git branch minus D and the name of your branch.
And lastly, resolve your conflicts carefully. Make sure you have not left any dangling marker behind. Always test your applications after creating a merge commit. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next one.